guest. Her name is Laurie Straub and we're going to talk today about penis enlargement through hypnosis. And this is not a joke. I mean, this is dead serious. <laughs> it is. It is dead serious. So, so you really do this. You really hypnotize men to enlarge the penises. Yes. Yes. I created this 24 years ago. And back then you weren't allowed to say the word penis. I could not run any ads at all. I couldn't do anything except all the shock jocks. They loved me and they would give away free sets on their shows. Okay, okay. so let's go back. So uh -huh. you, you're actually a hypnotherapist. Yes, yes. And in doing this work, you discovered that you could hypnotize people for different things. Exactly. Um, and, and then you said you started by doing breast enhancement. Exactly. I started with breast enhancement, but the thing is there's so many medical records about breast enhancement working. And I was reading all the medical records and thought, why wouldn't that work for men too? Okay, so wait a minute. You're saying that you can augment your breasts, yes. not by cosmetic surgery, but by hypnosis. Exactly. And it's crazy. And it's so cool because you can do it naturally. Because you know, I had plenty of clients, male and female, who had implants here and implants there who were unhappy and their bodies didn't accept it because there's such a mental game with augmenting your sexual organs. So after you started working on female clients and doing breast augmentation by hypnosis, you figured you could do this on penises and, and enlarge penises. Exactly, because penises are made out of soft tissue. Women, this is a chunk of fat. I hate to deglamorize it, but these are chunks of fat. They're beautiful chunks of fat and they're a little more difficult to change than soft tissue. Soft tissue, you can do that in a second. Okay, I find it hard to believe that either of these things could work through hypnosis. So explain, I mean, hypnosis is about stopping smoking, stopping bad habits, stopping patterns. How on earth does it augment breasts or penises? I know, nobody, it's like, this sounds so crazy, but it is so magical. Because the part in your brain that makes you be awake or asleep is called the hypothalamus. It's the control center from here all the way down to your toes. I am in the hypothalamus anyway to hypnotize you. That's what makes you be awake or asleep. So I've got your brain waves much slower. That once we tap into the right thing, it will allow the neurotransmitters to drop to the pituitary. The pituitary releases hormones. I don't care if you're 16 or if you're 90, you still have hormones going on. But it's the control center I'm in. So the control center can augment blood flow. I mean, I, I used to do shows all the time and I'd have people think they were eating a lemon. It would make their mouth water because I'm in the control center. You can do almost anything. And it's so you're saying that when you hypnotize a man, under hypnosis, you can get him to enlarge his penis. Yeah. And it's a release of hormones that you're doing. Yes. So you're hypnotizing him to release hormones. Exactly. So, I mean, is he just getting an erection or is this... <laughs> it's <laughs> is not this... that easy. No, no. no. <laughs> we both know yeah. getting an erection, anybody could do yeah. that. Mm -hmm. This is permanent growth. It is measurable growth. And what it is, the hormones are released we have so many blocks going on in here, so many. I don't care what you're complaining about. You've got a block in your mind that's causing the problem. You don't realize you're benefiting from the problem. And men, men's penises change sizes, what, 50 million times a day? And we can talk about wet dreams, talk about the mind controlling the body. You know, you men have wet dreams and you're probably snuggled up with your pillow or your dog and not the magic mate, you know, that would certainly cause a wet dream. You're causing it because of what is going on in your mind. It is so simple. But you're talking about more than that. You're not talking about hypnotizing somebody to have for a moment, you know, a, a feeling, an arousal to grow bigger. You're talking about permanently Permanent. ch changing the size. Yes. So, exactly. I mean, and also for the breast. 
But I mean, you're saying you could do that with any part of the body? You could slim it down or grow any part of the body? Well, I started all of this way back when, and I did a lot of people for knee surgery, so I did it for medical issues. And then a friend of mine said, let's do breast enlargement. And I started laughing. I'm going, yeah, sure. And then I looked at all of the medical research. It's been proven over and over and over in the 70s. So this has been happening forever. And like I said, I was like, well, I want to have a little more fun. I'm doing it for penises. So you're saying if you tap into the hypothalamus, you can create, you can create a release of hormones, growth mm -hmm. hormones. Yes. That will actually, even even if you're 50, 60 years old, you can still you can, you still, can still grow any it. part of your body. The oldest one-to-one -one client I had was 89 years old when I worked with him. <laughs> so, like I said, you don't have to be a 16-year-old at so, all. So, this is an 89-year-old client that came for a penis enlargement. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so um, so tell me about the... the well, first of all, I mean, do all men just seem to want to have bigger penises? I mean, of it's al it's almost like, um, even if even if they don't really know, that the women, I don't think, care as much. I think men just just think they're gonna have, no matter how big they are, they think they're gonna have bigger, right? And remember, when they're in the gym and they're changing in the locker room, it's not that they're trying to impress us, it's like the other guys in the gym. And when, you know, when they go to the restroom, when we go, we don't have to look at each other, but they're all standing there at the urinal, and I'm, I'm not saying they all are glancing over, but they're all thinking the other men are looking between their legs, and that's not true, but they want to feel proud feel confident, feel like a manly man. And, you and, know, and you're saying that this actually increases the overall size, even yes. whether they've got an erection or not, they're just, you know, they're going to be bigger. They're going to be bigger, and that's flaccid and erect. And, and what are we talking? We're talking about like a few millimeters, a few <laughs> centimeters? <or something? laughs> no, it's big crew. Really? It's, well, it's an inch longer. That's the average. I've done a ton of men. So an average is an inch longer and three-fourths of an inch in circumference, and that's putting a tape measure around the penis at the biggest section. So we're talking about going from that to... Yes, to a handful. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and that little bit makes such a difference. And I tell you, you know, being the females, it makes a huge difference inside of us. But I tell you, for the men, it's like, do they walk around like this? Or do they walk around like, I got a swagger in my step, baby? Yep. I think a lot of men just, you know, a lot of men are, are, are adequate, you know, and they have plenty, but they, everybody, they just want, they feel like they want more. Exactly. Every guy thinks he's not big enough. Exactly. <laughs> because I see all the porno guys who've got, you know, 12 inches, which you, we all know that. That's not, even, not like, Nobody fun. wants, not no fun, female really. wants 12 inches. We don't. Uh, but you're right, just like to me, all women, we want to drop a couple of pounds. You know, it's just a female thing. Female, all we men, want bigger boobs, yeah. we want skinnier waist. Exactly. <laughs> and this is just the male version, but thank goodness we're females. There's so much help for us. Men, it's like nobody pays attention to the men. And there's no help that they realize for them. But here we are. Okay, so you're saying that a man can actually grow an inch. That's a lot. Yes. And, and, and three quarters of an inch around. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. And this is uh, like over a few sessions? It's a 90-day program. And the thing is, each week you listen to a different hypnotherapy. Because there's so many things going on in our minds. Females, there's even more. But men, there's so many benefits you get, so many blocks you have. You don't realize it until you slip into that subconscious. Because, you know, normally we don't realize like block, 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 block. And so, all you, these things. so when they're under hypnosis, are they discovering, I mean, what kind of blocks do you have to have your penis be small? <laughs> right? You remove a block and your penis gets bigger? Really? You, you remove a few blocks. Because the, the most common one is they don't want to have sex with their mate. And I don't care if you're gay or straight. And they, you know, because you get mad at your mate and you have issues and you just keep yourself shriveled up because you don't want to go there. But then we go back to childhood blocks. The childhood blocks really get kicked in. And, and our parents, things that our parents it's have done with their or said, parents. our friends. And friends. And 
people they didn't even hardly know. And I tell you, you know, when we're all in junior high, you know how everybody is, and the girls would be like, I expect you have a small penis. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't word it that nicely. You know that. <laughs> and, and that actually affects and people. Just, people don't realize we are oh, we're geniuses. We maintain everything, the bad and the good, in the back of our minds. So if you're told when you're young that you have a small penis or something that makes you think that, yeah. then your body actually reacts to stop producing the hormones to make it grow. Exactly. You are what you think. You know? Wow. So when you do this hypnotherapy, you're actually going back to these different blocks. We're going back to the different blocks, and so many are from the past, but so many are right now. Right now. And of course, everybody's like, I don't have, because I asked everyone, you know, how do you benefit from your penis size not being the way you want it to be? And nobody's like, I don't, I hate it, you know. But then we go back under hypnosis, and hypnosis is just a state of relaxation and calmness. It's not some spooky thing like in the movies at so, all. So they're not out of it. They know what they're doing. Yeah, they know exactly what they're doing. Exactly. So it's just more like a, a light a light trance, a meditation, exactly. a kind of a guided meditation. Exactly. Yes. So it it's actually like a little mini vacation because how often do we sit down and take 20 minutes just to veg out and go within? And you're taking them back to times that they've probably forgotten about where somebody mm. said something, they just had a feeling about something, something that made them feel insecure. Exactly. Something that yeah. stopped them growing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And of course, you don't realize the things that would stop you from growing. And what if what if they're actually pretty decent sized and they don't really have a lot of blocks? Does it still help? Well, Does it still it work? It still helps because half my clients are normal size. And just so you know, normal size is five and a half to six inches erect. And, you know, but every man thinks they're too small, just like you said earlier. And, you know, to add an extra inch, because my normal clients are like, an extra inch wouldn't hurt. <laughs> you know, and once again, it makes you feel good. And when you feel good and you're allowing the energy to flow, that's when you can control what does the penis do. So does it also help them with other issues? It, oh, tremendously. Because, you know, if you're walking around to your business meetings and everything feeling less than, you go into, you know, pr the presentation being less than, but once you grow your penis, which seems like a miracle, I mean, you're, you're swaggering in there. I don't know if anybody remembers John Wayne, but you know that John Wayne swagger? And you swagger in there. And, you know, just say you go into the restaurant in the middle, restroom in the middle of the presentation, you're whipping it out pretty confidently because it is an inch bigger. So you say, you come into your meeting and your boss has suddenly got a lot of confidence. Yeah. He came to me first. He, came, he grew his penis an inch. Exactly. Exactly. But like I said, the size isn't everything. You know, if you're someone you're interested in, whether it be a man or a woman, like kind of rubs up against you, like they might be flirting with you, it might be an accidental thing. And I know, I've talked to enough men, you're hoping and praying like, oh, please don't be shriveled up now. <laughs> you know, because, because that's what happens half the time. So when they somebody accidentally or on purpose, you know, rubs you between your legs, I know what you guys are thinking. I've thought, I've talked to enough of you. Be like, please be big, please be big. I want you guys to have confidence that you are big, and as a result of that, when it's time to get in the bed with whoever, you have total confidence that you can control it. You guys, do, they, do they have more control? They have as well. So much. So it's more not just about the size; it's actually no, about this control is everything. And you know, we can have multiple orgasms. It's not fair for you guys. Sorry, but <laughs> but you guys can have more than one orgasm, and you guys don't realize that. You can have a couple of orgasms, and it's just, you got it in your head, oh, one and I'm done. That's not true. That is not true. So this hypnosis, do you work, is it like separate programs to, to, to do that? Is it part of it being worked it's all, separate? It's blocks? all together. The growth and the control go together. So once you remove these blocks, 
be removing a lot of issues that they might have. A lot of issues. And, you know, I wish I could do it in one session. It, that wouldn't work. You've got to really get it in. And, you know, most men, you know, I like the men to be at least 20 years old. And I would prefer if they're 50 or younger. And, you know, if you're not, like I said, 89 is the oldest guy I worked with. So, um, did, did he get an inch? He, he grew. He grew about half an inch. The inch is the norm. He grew about half an inch. Half an inch is pretty. It's a pretty big deal. It's a big deal. He, he came to me. He wanted his girlfriend to have a little more fun and invite another boyfriend in. And I was like, no, no, no. He did it we'll anyway. Make, we'll, make you, we'll make you good enough. <laughs> yeah, I told I said that. I was like, she doesn't need anybody else in there. Yeah, think twice about inviting somebody else into the bedroom with you. Okay, so so you go through a series of blocks. Is this different for every person? It is different for every person. And the thing, of course, you can come see me personally, and we'll work on it one on one. But you can do it at home alone. You don't have to tell me or anybody else. And so that's a little, I think a lot of guys would like to do it, but they're a little afraid to go to somebody one-on-one. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing, I think, to, 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 to go there. Especially exactly. to say, I don't think my penis is big enough. I need to come for a session with you. Exactly. So if they do it, if they do it over uh, online on an audio set, they can do it. It's private. Can, it's it's private. Good. And that was the thing, you know, 24 years ago. It wasn't so easy as it is today. I've got it downloadable today. 24 years ago, I had to mail you the cassette tapes. You know? <laughs> and all the men were like, oh no, do you have penis enlargement on the box? Of course, I never did. But everybody was so worried about someone else finding out. So when, you, when you're taking them through this course, I mean, obviously you don't know each individual what's going on in their life. So is it yeah. you telling them to go to a certain time and then, and then asking them to recreate that time, remove those blocks? It's so wild. I tell everyone to go back to like the first time they felt that, you know, it's different with each tape. Or they're not tapes anymore. Different yeah. with each audio. Yeah. And your mind will automatically take you where you're supposed to be. We've got to trust ourselves. Our minds know. And I've been doing this for 24 years now. And the thing is, and I, when I do hypnosis myself, I'm like, oh, is that the right time or no? Whatever comes to your mind the first moment you do the hypnosis, that is the right time. So this doesn't sound like this is something that's um, a fun, like they're not really going to get an erection and get excited by these tapes and have a fun time here, right? This no. is more, this is, this is work. This, this is, is inner, inner work. work. Definitely inner work. But I tell you, the benefits are fabulous. They're measurable. Measure, I mean, you pull out your tape measure or your ruler or whatever you have, you can measure the difference. And do they get to practice in between? And do you tell them, you know, after you, after your session now, do they get to masturbate? Do they get to do, practice they, a little bit? I tell I tell everyone, don't masturbate during the session because that's a little separate mindset. But the same day, they could do it after. But the they session. can certainly do it the same day. Of course they can. They must well have some fun. You know? so. But during the session, it's just a little too serious. It, it gets a little bit serious, and not all of them. One of the sessions is really for strong erections. And so that, I tell that one's kind of a fun one. during that one, yeah, because it, that just helps. <laughs> so, and I'm sure they love the fact that it's a female voice. Can you imagine if it was a man talking them through oh, this? Oh, it wouldn't work the same at yeah. all. Yeah. At all. So yeah. when you got a female yes. voice, it's just you. You know, you feel a little bit more, you know, open and and trusting. And yes, and they're not in competition with me in the least. Of course, they're not. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if they're gay or straight. I'm not in competition with anybody, <laughs> but both, I've worked with both gay men and straight men, and all of them grow. So this is not something that you would do with a partner. It's not something that is kind of like, let's get a girlfriend, do this together. This is something that's better done by themselves, listening to the tape. You do it alone because a lot of times it's like, what are your blocks right now? And when I did the one-on-one -on -one sessions, they'd be like, well, my girlfriend or my boyfriend's a bitch. You know? Yeah. So, and of course, I couldn't say that out loud if the person's sitting right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, and most of it must get really personal going back to your, your parents. It, and it's really what personal. What my mom said. Or, yes. 
you know, what the first girlfriend said when she turned me down and no, looked oh, at and, me and said, and oh my God, that's so bad. All of that <laughs> comes up. And that's the thing. And it's a great gift to give a mate. But I always tell the mates, whether they're male or female, think twice about how you're going to word things before you say, oh, here's your gift. Yay, I'm excited. <laughs> Because it could be a bit of an insult. I think if, if you know, if, if a woman came out and said to her boyfriend, oh, I brought you a gift, it's how to grow your penis, that's immediately like saying, you're not good enough, your penis it's, needs to be longer. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, you know, if it's a male giving it to a male, it's like, oh, let's do it together, let's have some fun. And a female could be like, I wanted to take a look at myself too, to see, you know, what's going on. I'm not telling the females to listen to penis enlargement, no. <laughs> but they can also take a look at themselves to see what's going on. We females have even more issues going on in our heads about love life, sex life, all of that. Yeah. So how long is the program? It's 90 days. So it's once a day for 90 days? It's once a day. And it's, it's a 12-week program, so there's a different audio for each week. And if they're out of town on business and they can't get to do it that day, is it okay if they skip a few days and then it just makes it a little longer? You can definitely skip a few days and no guilt. Because <laughs> guilt makes us all crunch up and shrivel. You know? So I don't want any guilt between anybody's legs. So it's listen to it as often as possible. And if you're on a business trip, it's a great relaxation. They're only 20 minutes long. So you know, on your lunch break, it's good. I've had plenty of Wall Streeters that right, I've done. On, your, on your lunch, you can do this on your lunch break? I had quite a few Wall Streeters who did this. And they would take their lunch break instead of going, to, or they'd go out to the park down there. And um, they'd listen to the audios as they ate their sandwiches, you know? It's so, not distracting. No, no. And that's the thing. Personally, I fall asleep during hypnosis. So I don't want to be laid out on a bed to do hypnosis personally. So explain a little bit about the, the process, the hypnosis part. You, okay. You're talking people like down the, down the stairs, you have them visualize. How, how do you do the hypnosis? There's a relaxation part and that's like the first few moments, like the first five to ten minutes. And like so there's 12 different relaxations. And the very first one, I love it because I have men in the bathtub through the first one, and men love it because through a lot of them, especially the very first one, you feel movement in your groin area, but it's not like getting sexually excited, it's just movement. You feel it growing. It, well, it's <laughs> you feel what's going on before it grows, like the action going on in your groin area. Not exactly your penis, but people, some feel it in their balls, some feel it in their penis, some feel it you know, up in their prostate area. And that's just the action going on before the growth happens. And is this the hormones being released? Does they re releasing the blocks mentally in their bodies? Well, the releasing growth hormones? The first week, they're not releasing blocks yet. I'm just trying to get people into being hypnotized and mm -hmm. having their mind control their bodies. Mm -hmm. So it's allowing this mind-body connection to happen. The first, the first two weeks are like that. Third week, we get more into your mind affecting your physical body. And that's when you send sensations like to your hand and you can feel the difference. And, it, and then we get into, you know, what happened when you were younger, when you started questioning, you know, what happened to my penis, you know? Because a lot of this starts when you're really young. And I don't wanna lead anybody, but you know, I say go back to the first time you had issues with your penis. Some are really young, some are in junior high, There's all, everybody's different. And then it's how are you benefiting from the exact thing you're complaining about? And everybody says, I'm not. They always are. So you're saying that some issue that you had, like say you were in junior high and some girl said something was devastating to you, that is affecting you today and you're, how, are you ben how can you be benefiting from something like that? Like, you feel sorry for yourself? Or? Well, the thing is, and especially we're just coming out of COVID and everything, some people, and I'm one of these, I love staying at home by myself under the covers. <laughs> I enjoy that. And to have to get out and put on the lipstick and put on the 
shoes and everything, but I'm not the only one. And men are just like me. And they don't want to go out. They don't want to get rejected when they go out to the bar. And so they don't even get out there. And then the ones who are with a mate, they're like, oh, they're such a pain in my ass. And they don't realize they're thinking that. And they're thinking, as long as I'm not desirable in bed, I don't have to worry about them coming on to me. And I know that sounds ridiculous. I hear that more often than people would guess, you know? Wow. So this is going to change a guy's attitude, not just about the size of the penis, but about feeling more excited about having sex, feeling, feeling more virile, and also feeling more confident about exactly. himself. Exactly. Yes. That's, it, like I said, you can see when a man walks into my office, like in the beginning, their, their heads are down, their shoulders are bowed forward. Then like by week six, they're walking in that door like, I'm ready. <laughs> they are totally different because their mindset is different. I mean, it, it is the funnest thing because, yes, we go down deep, but you get relaxed the first 10 minutes. And there's, like I said, 12 different relaxations I do that get you just all vegged out and comfortable. That's why I always fall asleep. And that's one reason people eat sandwiches or do it in the gym. Or I tell you, my ex-husband did it as he slept every night. And I would always be like, you can't sleep through this. It's not going to work. He grew tremendously sleeping through the whole thing. So it, your subconscious is affected if you just allow it and accept it. So you snore might, through it. So he was <laughs> sleeping and he still was. It's still, yes, yes. So um, anybody ever complain and say, no, I mean, I came in with uh, four inches and I still got four inches. <laughs> I have been so fortunate with this, so fortunate. Because like I said, I have them measure themselves. And <laughs> Okay, they, so they actually, uh, they get an erection and they take out the tape measure and they measure it. Oh, I have specific instructions for all of this. So it's not just an erection because, you know, men have different sizes of erections. And so I have them jerk off and then stop before they ejaculate. Then I have them and that's do the, it. That's the biggest. That's no, the biggest. no. I have them do it twice and stop. So it's not so much fun. But on the third time, that's when they measure before they ejaculate. Because that's bigger. Because that that's the biggest. Because you know, <laughs> like when you're with a mate in bed and you think you're gonna have sex, you think you're gonna have sex, and you don't, and it's kind of like a tease. Uh, like on the third time, you're ready to go, and that'll be the biggest. And then I have them measure flaccid. I don't like doing this with men, but I have them get a rag with ice and hold it around the penis <laughs> to make it as small as possible because I want the measurements to be accurate with the penis. It's different all the time. So they make it as small as possible. And they're measuring, and just so you guys know, you put the tape measure right against your pubic bone. You can feel it's right there. I mean, we've got them too, but you men, you got it right there, and you measure through the, to the top of your penis. And just so you know, because men are always like, you know, I'm a good nine inches. When people, men tell me that, and then I look at them, I'm like, their penises actually go up into their body a couple of inches. And that's penis surgery. Oh, I don't recommend that at all. Because they cut that ligament to make it longer. Then you have to wear weights around your penis to make sure it doesn't grow properly and attach properly. So they really have a surgery to make it longer? Oh, they, oh it's horrible because some of those men have come to me. And like I said, it's painful for them. They have to wear weights around their penis as it's your body's supposed to heal. Of course, those doctors don't want it to heal normally because the penis would be the same. So they wear these weights. I have to tell you. Okay, well, the, the whole hypnosis thing sounds a, a lot more fun and a lot easier than that. Uh, than having surgery and having weights oh, hanging yes. around your penis. Yes. <laughs> and I, the tribesmen, well, I would say the tribesmen in the bush, wherever, you know, in Africa, all these places where there are the tribes, because one of my roommate, not a roommate, but one of my neighbors was a flight attendant, and he's standing around these tribesmen, and their penises were really down to their knees. And I was just like, were they wearing weights? I've heard that. How, how, I've heard of this, but how can this be? 
and he told me, he said, oh, they told me they would wear weights when they were teenage boys. Mm -hmm. And that would, of course, they were really long, but really skinny, you know, and yeah. It's not much fun no, for women, you know, no, I'm tell exactly, you. <laughs> exactly. And they were too long for it to be any fun. I mean, for I women. think personally, like, guys put too much on it. They think that all women want, you know, these huge, big ones, and, and it's really no. not. It's not true. No, I mean, there's a lot of other things that I think we prefer. Yes. And, yes. And, and, you know, make men much better lovers. It's not about the size of the penis. But thinking also, you know, for, for them to have that confidence. And feel better about themselves and also the control so that the they control can... is everything to them you know and that's and the thing is they can develop it it's easy for them to develop it in 90 days and the thing is I have a money-back guarantee so if you don't grow you don't pay <laughs> you know but the thing is to feel so much better and I don't care if you're in bed with your mate I don't care if you're in the gym with the bunch of people you're working out with, I don't care if you're in the public restroom, you want to feel good about your body the same way we want to feel good about our body. So do you hear that? There's a 90 day money back guarantee. If your penis doesn't enlarge through right. hypnosis, you get right. your money back. Yeah, it's, there's nothing to lose. <laughs> Only an inch to gain, you know? So, so yes. Well, yes. an inch sounds like a lot. So. So, and that's the the average. I've had men grow longer than that too. So do you do people actually write in and tell you this was my measurement before? This is my measurement happy. I'm I'm so happy. I tell you when I I would always donate a set for these shock jock radio shows, and they would give it away to like the tenth caller or whatever. And the shock jocks, you know, they weren't as nice as me. They were <laughs> rough and tough. They would have the men measure. And that, oh, I had such great results with that. And the men would measure themselves, and then I would never hear about the second time they would get on the radio show. But then all of a sudden I'd get a bunch of orders from like Michigan. And I'd be like, what? And then I'd find out, oh, the guy went back on the radio show. So the guy girl. comes on Howard Stern, he's got a tiny little penis. Yeah. You fix him, and then he goes back, and all of a sudden, you know, Howard's going, wow. Yes. Look at that, that's impressive. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> And the, yeah, because I had the winner of the small penis contest with Howard Stern. Okay, so, so you've actually got some photos. I don't know if you can show them on camera, but uh, you want to show me some of the, some photos? I'm so going to show them to you. And yeah, I I try to keep this as clean as possible, so I don't show penises to people. But I, but I get to see a few. Yes. Um, okay, so these guys have I've written in. They've measured their penises. Yes. This is a before okay, that, and after. That's an after. So yeah, that looks before, like an after. This is the before. You see the six inches there. But also the thing is, he's much thinner. And this guy was a short guy who was really stuck. Okay, quick, quick. quick. <laughs> <laughs> before and after. Wow. Um, yes, there's no faces and, in these. These are just... Um, and the thing, look how wide he is now. And that this, was his body. This is a whole new meaning to dick shots, you know, when people send you them. I never, and, I never get these. You get, you must get lots of them. The They're thing, professional. <laughs> the thing, if you really look at these, these were the guys in the beginning, and this is when I was researching. So, that these are Polaroids. So I did. I wanted to make sure nobody thought I, you know, photoshopped anything. So that's why I have these Polaroids. This is not a Polaroid, but this was before all the Photoshop. This was like 24 years ago before we knew how to do all that stuff. You know. Well, this is amazing. I think what you're doing uh, is wonderful for all the guys out there. And uh, if they want to get a hold of you, is there a website they can go to? Yes, it's Hip Body, H Y P, like hypnosis, H Y P B O D Y, hipbody.com. And um, you can email me if you'd like. It's hipbody at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to talk to you, I'll be happy to explain it a little bit further. And, you know, of course, I'll work with anybody individually if you'd like. And I do everything on Zoom or the phone. I live in New York City, so if you're around, you know, we can certainly meet. Um, right now, get a hold of me. If you're ready to change your life, be empowered, have a swagger in your step. I know not so everybody you wants to grow, you want to grow an inch, uh, three quarters around, and you want to have that confidence, we'll put the link in the profile.
great. Thank you very much. Great. Like, no, <laughs> this was very fun. Thank you. What a great interview. <laughs> I mean, that was, what a great subject.